What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today we're going to be looking at something very interesting that I've noticed regarding Sundial and AMC stock. I know AMC is a favorite uh, for a lot of people out there, so we're also going to be talking about AMC stock because there's an interesting pattern that these two stocks have been following, and they actually seem to be affecting each other, right? So we're going to look at what's happened with those stocks way back in the past and what happened more recently, just a couple of days ago, as well as what's going on with the short interest, because the short interest is getting to be really crazy with Sundial, right? There's some really telling things in the short interest. So first off, we are going to start off looking at the Sundial chart and taking note of the fact, well, we'll look at both of the Sundial and AMC and even GameStop charts and take note of the fact that recently all of these stocks were pumping up and now they're all pulling back a bit, right? This is the Sundial chart, AMC going through the same thing and GameStop also going through a similar thing, right? So these stocks all pumped up very close to the same time. Now, Sundial pumped up on the 25th, right? That was when Sundial was making its highs. And what's interesting is AMC was making its highs along with GameStop on the 29th. Now, if you actually go back to about two years ago, you'll notice that AMC and GameStop both had their initial pump ups around January 27th-ish, right? That's when they both had their really big pumps, at least their first pumps, right? Obviously, AMC had a second pump later in June, uh, but their first pumps, right, when AMC hit 20 bucks and GameStop hit 483, were around late January, okay? Now, Sundial's big pump up was actually in very early February, about a week and a half later, okay? That's when Sundial started pumping up in a really big way. And it was already moving uh, based on some other catalysts, right? At the time, it had been moving for months, but it really had a big pump up shortly after AMC and GameStop moved up in a massive way. Now, we're actually noticing that Sundial is starting to lead the charge. And it's really interesting to see that Sundial pumped up on the 25th, and then just four days later, both AMC and GameStop were actually moving up in big ways as well, right? Hitting their highs on the 29th. So it seems like things have actually flipped a little. And in the past, it was meme stocks that led to cannabis stocks actually rallying, or at least helped them rally, right? A lot of people ended up making some big money on these meme stocks. They ended up uh, some people at least taking profits and moving some of those profits into cannabis stocks and continue to pump those up much higher than they had been pumping up before the big meme stock pump. And a lot of cannabis stockholders ended up making a bunch of money because these meme stocks had pumped up. In addition, there was a bunch of cannabis legalization hype at the time. But one of the main reasons that stocks do pump up is because a certain amount of capital gets pumped into them, right? And the meme stocks pumping up before Sundial and before Tilray and Canopy Growth and all those other cannabis companies uh, the capital gained by retail from those meme stock pumps certainly helped out with that, right? So we are also going to look at the short interest and just take note of the fact that the Sundial short interest has decreased yet again today, all right? Sundial short interest is moving down in a pretty dramatic way. You can see the past couple of months, it's actually been trending down as shorts have been exiting Sundial stock, but lately it has just been falling off of a cliff. And I have my own suspicions about this, right? Obviously, I tend to think that Sundial is probably going to pump up pretty big due to some legalization catalysts that we have coming for us relatively soon. If you guys have been following the channel, you already know what those are. We're not really going to touch on them again in this video, but obviously there's a bunch of legalization stuff happening over the next couple of months, both in the House, the Senate, and potentially getting to the president's desk at some point in the near future, right? So we're looking forward to that. And it looks like a lot of shorts are very fearful of that, right? A lot of shorts are actually exiting their positions before that happens. It looks like a lot of shorts are starting to wisen up and expect that there might be some kind of massive movement in Sundial stock. Now, unfortunately, Sundial has been moving down the past couple of days as these shorts have been buying up shares. So shorts have been able to cover their positions without raising the price of Sundial stock. Unfortunately, it seems like potentially a lot of retail traders may be selling their positions, right? Some retail traders may have been buying into this uh, movement upwards. And now some people are looking like at Sundial like it was another uh, dead cat bounce. And it looks like some people are potentially selling their shares right as shorts are deciding that it's a good idea to get out of their short positions, right? Because there is a real chance that we're going to see some huge catalysts for Sundial coming in the near future, right? So shorts are obviously trying to get out before that. And Maybe some people who just don't know what's going on with Sundial, who aren't aware of the legalization catalysts that are coming our way uh, in the near, near future, maybe some of those people are dumping their Sundial shares. Obviously, maybe algorithms could have something to do with this, right? Maybe some people are just trying to time the market. They're trying to sell Sundial at a little peak here and buy back at a cheaper price later. There's a lot of things that could be going on to move down Sundial's price. But a lot of people 
potentially are selling their shares of the stock and might not be getting back in, which is a somewhat scary thing uh, because I know people have been holding this for a long time and it finally seems like everything is aligning, right? Like all the stars are aligning and the shorts are getting out of the stock and we've got huge catalysts coming this month, right? Chuck Schumer is saying that this month is when he wants to unveil his cannabis legalization bill. So it just seems like an uh, unopportune uh, situation, right? For unfortunately, a lot of retail investors might be uh, falling prey to what's going on with the price action on Sundial. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about what I think could go on with AMC after the fact, right? Obviously, we've already seen AMC and GameStop move up in big ways shortly after Sundial's big pump up, right? Uh, they did reach their peaks just a couple of days after Sundial had been pumping up. And it's very possible that, you know, about a year and a half ago, when Sundial was pumping up in a big way, that was followed by AMC, or uh, AMC uh, was preceding it. It's very possible the opposite could be happening this time, right? Potentially, we're going to see cannabis stocks lead the charge uh, on some real legalization catalysts, right? Some real fundamental changes in the way the world works that could actually be benefiting these cannabis stocks. Obviously, you know, Sundial being one of them. And we could see those cannabis stocks move up in a big way. And following that, we could actually see some of the meme stock favorites, AMC and GameStop, moving up in a big way. Uh, afterwards, right? And that's possible for a couple of reasons. One, a lot of retail investors do uh, tend to be in, you know, either cannabis stocks or meme stocks. Those are two retail favorites, meme stocks and cannabis stocks. Uh, institutions aren't as big on them, but there are some institutional investors in both. And whenever a certain class of stock pumps up that retail has a bunch of money in, and maybe it's even crypto that, some, that retail has a bunch of money in, whenever that pumps up, and people are allowed to take profits, they then have a bunch of cash sitting around that they can use for other things and to pump up other stocks that they like. And it creates a situation where you end up having one domino fall over and a bunch of dominoes can follow after it. So it's actually a pretty exciting time in the market. I mean, uh, if you look back to the past uh, two years, right, it wasn't just Sundial and AMC and GameStop that were pumping up. There were a ton of stocks that followed. Uh, these big pumps, right? Even Tesla was pumping up towards the end of last year. Not that uh, not that retail did this alone, but it was certainly a big retail favorite. Uh, Smile Direct Club also pumping up around the same time, right? There's a ton of stocks that we could look at that were pumping up at similar times uh, right after uh, January and February of 2021 when a lot of retail uh, traders ended up having a bunch of additional capital due to some successful trades in AMC GameStop and other meme stocks and other cannabis stocks. So that's a situation that we could potentially be looking forward to, right? Cannabis could be the domino that starts this whole chain reaction that gets a bunch of money flowing into the system. I think it'd be very exciting to see that. And it is very possible, right? Because we are looking at a situation where there are, I mean, unless unless the politicians have just been lying to us, uh, there are going to be cannabis legalization bills coming into play. And hopefully uh, the politicians will realize the that when you're polled, when uh, the American people are polled, that most people do want legalization. We've got some midterm elections coming up in November, and hopefully they'll realize that it could be good for their polling numbers to actually enact cannabis legalization before those elections come through. So we'll see what ends up happening at the government's level if they end up doing uh, what the people want or if they end up uh, just stalling and letting these bills uh, die in the House and the Senate. Hopefully that's not the case. But all in all, it's looking like a very bullish situation Oh, potentially over the next couple of months, not just for cannabis stocks, but for other retail favorite stocks, right? For growth stocks, for a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, that's just some food for thought for anyone who is interested. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know my opinions. And other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.